Hello, it's the IT guys, and today we're going to be looking at bullets and numbering in OpenOffice Writer. So, there's going to be a few things we cover in this video. We're going to be showing you how to insert basic bullet points and numbering. Then we're going to be showing you how you make those bullets and numbering look nicer. We're going to be showing you how to start new lists in your page. And then we're going to be showing you how to change the indenting and sublists with bullets and numbering. So, let's start by inserting basic bullet points. I'm going to do this on this top list here. Now, there's two ways you can do this. The easiest is to go to this little taskbar here, toolbar I mean, sorry, and click on where it says bullets, on or off, this little icon. Click on it, we'll insert bullet points. Clicking it again, we'll then remove them. Now, to insert numbering. You would normally do this by clicking on this numbering button here. However, I'm going to do it slightly differently. This is also how you would insert bullet points differently. We're coming to format, bullets and numbering. I'm now going to go to numbering type and insert our basic numbering, like so. Now, what we can do is we want to change the style of these bullet points. So, I'm going to click on bullets and numbering. And I'm going to insert a graphic bullet point. I can now scroll down this list until I find what I like. I quite like this red and green one, so I'll click on it so it's selected. Then I will click OK. It's now changed all of my highlighted list to have that bullet point. To change the numbering on our shopping list, what we're going to do is highlight it. Again, click the bullets and numbering when in this tab, which is up, or click format bullets and numbering. I'll take you to the same place. Then I'll go to numbering type, and I'm going to have them in a bracket like this. And then I'm going to click OK, and it will change my numbering. I'm now going to swap these bullet points for numbers. I'll show you how you can start a new list. So if I wanted milk, eggs, and butter to be on its own list, and then start again at 1 here on crisps, all I have to do is come to here, and where it says restart numbering, click on it. And it will then start a new list, starting from one all over again. That was quite simple. I'm going to now go back a little bit until I go back to my bullet points. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at, at sublists. This is the last thing we're going to be looking at in this video. So, just go and do a sublist. All you have to do is click. So your cursor is just at the start of the word. Then click the tab button on your, on your keyboard. This will indent it, and it will also change the bullet point. If you press it twice, you'll get a different bullet point again, and so on, creating sublists underneath milk. However, what you might not want is all of the different bullet points. You might just want sublists. So, what you can do is there's an option to change this. So, if we click on bullets and numbering, go over to options, and then we click here. We want graphics for the whole one, and then we're also going to select a graphic from the gallery, and I want all of them to have this green arrow. Now, what I need, I'm sorry, I should have gone to levels 1 to 10 to start with, so then you will have all of the different levels being the same. Then, you set that to graphic. Select the graphic from the gallery, so this green arrow. And now, as you can see in the preview, they've all got this green arrow. Then, all you have to do is click OK, and it will set all of the bullet points on the different sublevels to be exactly the same. You can change each sublevel individually, which is what I was doing to start with, by, say, going to number 2, and you might want number 2 to be a different image, like, this, say, this blue one. So then, just the second level would have the blue indent, and everything else would be the same. So, this has been Burts and Numbering by the IT Guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time in OpenOffice Writer. Thanks for watching. Bye!